Hey guys, and welcome to another super cool astrology video with me for Saturday. Now, the weather's getting cold in Melbourne. Um, it's absolutely freezing today. And but the best part, the best part is um, a couple of days ago, Venus moved into Taurus. So we all might be feeling a lot more relaxed now. Um, I know me personally, I don't even want to think. I don't want to think at all. I just want what I like and not to think and just have what I want given to me, preferably in bed. <laughs> but anywho, okay, card for today. Now, I just want to say thank you to all the people that messaged me um, about my recent post that I did. Um, that was really beautiful. Um, I was really dyslexic, or I am dyslexic, so at school I couldn't read or write properly, so when I actually do write something and people really appreciate it, it's really beautiful, you know, and just especially to have people say to me, like, I was crying when I was reading your post, like, it meant so much to me, that's how I feel at the moment, and, um, yeah, like, it was just really amazing to have so much positive feedback, so, um, yeah, I'm quite happy to keep writing more stuff. I just, um, yeah, I didn't think, um, yeah, people would be interested in that kind of thing. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm using two decks today. I couldn't decide which deck to use. And I'm using one of the decks is the goddess deck, um, because Venus has just gone back into the home sign of Taurus. So I thought, hmm, might be good to work with a goddess. So, and then these ones are, I think, the whispering angel cards okay message for today is Kuan Yin compassion release judgment about yourself and others and focus on love light and what's uh, that is within everyone sorry like I said I'm hugely dyslexic so reading and writing isn't my thing <laughs> And then we've got receive love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is on the way to show love. So I would say compassion for yourself, for the choices you've made in the past or how you feel or, you know, even when you've done the best you can. Like I feel like when you can have compassion for yourself, that's when you can have compassion for others you know like everyone is different everyone handles things differently you know we're all doing the best we can with what we know at you know with all the tools we've got and sometimes we don't always make you know the right decision and um i feel like yeah like if we can not judge ourselves and have compassion for ourselves and then we can extend it to other people and it's something that we're really needing to have at this time because so much has been stirred up with um, all the planets in Aries because everyone's fighting for what they want and who they are and what they need and yes we're going to butt up against people where you know that conflict is finally going to come to the surface so I feel like at this time we really need to be understanding of ourselves and others and really extend compassion um, and not hold a grudge on, you know, maybe the way someone's handled something because, you know, like you might be a really emotional person and you handle things quite delicately and then somebody else who isn't very comfortable with their emotions, they might just not know how to handle things at all. So I think it's really important that we really just, yeah, extend compassion everywhere at the moment now we've also got receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is on the way to show love so um i feel like whatever is coming through right now whatever we receive whatever we have we really need to appreciate because when we appreciate what we have is when we get more of it if we're sitting there thinking, oh, I've only got this thing and it's not good enough, it's not what I want, it's not what makes me happy, what makes me happy is over there. Well, you know what, like we live in the law of attraction universe and if you're not grateful for what you have, you're not going to get 
what you want and when you're not grateful for what you have you actually lose what you have you know and then you're stuck thinking oh my god I wish I was grateful for that before and blah 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 and the cycle goes on and on and on so I feel like we really need to be in a state of receiving and appreciating because sometimes we can think you know, like we can be really negative and just focusing on what we don't have. And then when something good comes along, we don't, we don't even see it, you know, like we just can't even see this offer or something beautiful, beautiful being given to us because we're just focusing on the crap. Like we're focusing on something from the past. that's not even relevant, you know, like, so I think, yeah, it's really important just to be present and be open to receiving and be grateful for what you have you know um but anyway um that's pretty much it for me i hope you all have um a really great weekend and um yeah i'll see you guys on monday many soul journey blessings